If you were a scientist, what question would you try to answer? How did humans get alive? Who's the first human? Is it, oh, is know, it Adam. Jesus? Adam. Adam. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Shannon. Hi Shannon. So, what do you guys know about deoxyribonucleic acid? Nothing. Nothing? You've never I, heard I of know that? What, I, I know what acid is. Well, how about DNA? Have you ever seen something like this? No. No? And this is found in every single one of your cells. Do you guys know what cells are? Oh uh, yeah, I think. Yeah? So when you're like being made, each cell no, has to know what it's gonna be. Yeah, and in each of those cells is DNA. And it is the instruction manual for all of your cells, which codes for proteins. Proteins tell each cell what they need to do. Each cell makes up different tissues and all the tissues together make up who you are. Everything that is alive have DNA. So what's alive? What's the thing that's Fish. alive? Fish. Has DNA. Tree. A tree has DNA. Stinky shoes. Stinky shoes wouldn't have DNA. An alien. It's questionable whether they would have the same DNA as us because they live on different planets or whether their DNA would be made the same. So that's a tricky one. But we're made up of the same four basic molecules of DNA. For example, four different colors of Legos. Yet, we look different from all these different organisms. So it's the pattern of these four different molecules which makes a fish different from a cat. We're gonna do an experiment to see how just four different molecules can make up such a huge variety of patterns. Experiment one. Each of these buckets contain four different colors. Create a tower of 10. We're gonna see if our towers are the same or different patterns. You built your DNA? I know. Place them all in front of you. So let's let's look at the different DNA molecules we made. Do you think these guys are the same, or are they all different? They're all different. They're all different. And that's just like DNA in organisms. So even though all these different organisms, including cats or a tree, are all made of the same four molecules. Even chalk? Not chalk, chalk's not alive. Even though they're made of all the same four molecules, they all are different because they're built of a different sequence. So what's the biggest number that you guys know? Uh, a thousand! Two thousand. Um, one billion. Wait, wait. Yeah, two thousand. How many single colors do you think make up our DNA? A billion. Close, it's three billion. Oh, three. And three billion of those bases are on each and every single one of your cells. My DNA is telling me I need some food. I love food! Snack time! Knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting cow. Interrupting. Moo. Oh, uh, do you know Stephen Colbert? So Stephen Colbert uh -huh. did something funny. Like, uh, I think some, uh, like someone fired someone who he said that he, that he was trumped. What's something that you guys know that you think you could teach me? I could teach you how to change a baby's diaper. <laughs> you know how to do that? Yeah. You did it before? Mm. Oh, I change your diaper every morning. What? I don't want to hear. All right, I have another experiment plan for you guys. So are you ready to learn more about DNA? Yeah! Experiment two! Guys, I'm going to put on the table four different Organisms. No, just different organisms. Puppies, and you guys are going to have to rank them to what is most similar to us in our DNA and what is least similar to us in our DNA. The first one is bacteria. Yeah. Some bacteria but, but can be good and animals. some can be bad. Some can be good and some can be bad. How? Because some can live in our stomach and help us digest food. What does digest? digest? Digest. So when you eat an apple, 
It doesn't look like an apple when it comes out the other end, does it? No! <laughs> <laughs> so that's bacteria that helps you digest that. The next one is a banana. That has DNA too. Next one is chicken. Does everyone know what a chicken is? Yes! And then our last thing is a zebrafish. So we have four different organisms here and we want to rank them to what has the most similar DNA to us to the least similar DNA. What's more similar? Zebra. Zebrafish. Okay, so zebra, we'll put zebrafish here and we'll put bacteria here. Now let's take banana. Banana, but yes, yes, Banana yes. versus bacteria. What do you think is more similar to us? Banana. Bacteria. 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 So you want bacteria here, banana here. So chicken. chicken. Let's start with banana. What's more similar to us? Chicken. chicken. Okay. Chicken. Yay, chicken. What's more similar to us? Bacteria. Chicken. Chicken or bacteria? What do you mean? Chicken. 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 Okay. Zebrafish or chicken? Chicken. 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 A chicken is like a chicken can walk, but zebrafish. Zebrafish. Can't walk. They could swim, and we could swim. Oh, so that's why you think a zebrafish is more similar to us. I think a chicken because we eat more chicken. So you think we have more DNA that's the I same because we eat yeah, that more? Because I don't, I don't eat that much zebrafish. Is this the final order we think, from yeah. least similar to most similar? Yes. yes. So banana, bacteria, zebrafish, chicken. Yes. Okay, I gotta say, you're. You're wrong. You know, surprisingly, we ha share more DNA with a banana than bacteria. So the final order is, we're most similar out of these four to a zebrafish. Then chicken. But we're not even zebras or fish. I know. What are other ways we're similar to zebrafish? With yeah. our DNA. In our DNA, that's right. They have All blood. They have blood. But chicken has blood too. Oh, Do you know that each and every single one of you share so much of the same DNA? But you guys look different, right? Yeah. But you know you have like 99% of your DNA is all the same. It's only that little, little difference that makes each of you who you are. Stephen Colbert's DNAs, I'm sure, uh, like a lot of them just want to be funny. Thank you guys for letting me come and teach you about DNA. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs>